uh, apparently Valve or the, the Dolphin team or somebody changed something to make it so all of my controller profiles um, took a big shit. So I updated them, and I'm going to provide this download. And this video is going to be a little quicker. I'm just going to show a quick installation guide, and then I'm going to go over a few games showing these profiles in action. So here's what you got to do. Uh, extract the download. Pretty easy. You have this profiles folder. I'm assuming you installed Dolphin via Discover. Just go to Discover, search Dolphin. There it is. Just uh, install it that way. That's the way you're supposed to. I kind of gave up on the app image. Turns out this worked in the flat pack, by the way, so that's nice. Go ahead and jump into your home directory. Show hidden files with Control H, or if you have a shortcut, use that. I'm using my couch as a mouse pad right now. It's not working very well. Go to var, go to app, look for your dolphin folder, uh, which is right here and then go to config. You'll see a Dolphin ME folder, and then there's a profiles folder in here. You can just merge uh, these folders. And in my case, it's going to yell at me to overwrite everything because I just copied all these. So I'm just gonna do that too. There you go, they're installed. Now, uh, when you're using Dolphin Emulator, um, it's pretty tedious to go into controllers and configure your Wii Remote settings individually for every game, every time you swap games. So the best way to handle that is to go ahead and right-click a game, go to Properties. Then if you go to the Editor, you can make this whole section called controls and you can change the pad types and the Wii Remote sources. One would be emulated Wii Remote. You can go to the Dolphin Wiki and look up uh, the INI settings to figure out exactly what to put in here. Um, but one would be emulated Wii Remote and then you can change the profile for each individual game. And you can also change individual game settings if you want to through this too. It's really convenient. Well, not convenient, but it's really nice that you're able to do that. Could be more convenient. Uh, but yeah, that's how you set it up. That's how you get going. These are profiles for Steam input. So you want Steam input enabled. Um, you want to run Dolphin through Steam to use these. And ideally, you'll want to run it through Big Picture if you're using things like Gyro and the touchscreen and stuff like that. Uh, all right, now I'm going to go over using the profiles. Now, I know I said this isn't a configuration tutorial, but real quick, you can get much better performance out of Dolphin if you use power tools and disable SMT and maybe lock your GPU to a minimum of 900 or so. Just a little pro tip. Okay, so Mario Galaxy, we've got touchscreen, we've got gyro, right stick, um, we've got motion or a button, and we have a uh, rolling ball that works. If you hold up, it's an upright Wii Remote that you control with the right stick. If you hold down, it's a flat Wii Remote that you control with the right stick. Pretty straightforward. So hold up on the D-pad, and you're good to go. Ooh. And then you've got jump on a trigger, so you can still do that. I'm so good at this. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm the best. No, I want those. If I don't get those, I'm not the best. Okay. I'm the best. All right, now this is New Super Mario Bros. Wii with a uh, NVIDIA Shield texture pack. Got it mapped to the analog stick and the D-pad. We do have motion. I 
I should stop playing through my phone camera. That's gonna get me killed. Oh! Anyway, that didn't happen. We got this. Very fun, very cool. And since it's set up for Steam input, you can use any control you want. So right now, player one is assigned to this. And it's working. And I didn't change anything, but the Steam controller settings. And as you can see, the Super Famicom controller is set as player one, so it's mapped as player one in Dolphin, because that's how it's set up. And it works. Of course, the same applies to GameCube mapping, so um, it corresponds with the player assignment in Steam input, not anything else. So, since this is player one, this is just assigned as a GameCube controller to player one, and my configs are A is A, B is B, X is X, Y is Y, just to be straightforward. Um, the GameCube controller is shaped weird anyway, so changing the layout a little bit doesn't really matter. Alright, uh, that is it. That's the setup, that's how you get it working, and that's the configs working. There you go. Um, Valve, please don't change the name of all of your inputs again if you did that. Or if you did it, Dolphin, I, I guess I forgive you, but please don't do that again because it's kind of a headache. That's all. Goodbye. Maybe forever. Maybe not. I got a little tiny bug feet. I don't really know what bugs eat. Don't want no one stepping on me. Now I'm sympathizing with fleas.